Okay, so in my last tutorial I showed how to animate with paint, but unfortunately the reason I haven't continued that tutorial yet is because I lost the files, because while I was recording the colouring my computer spazzed and died. So I've made a new short animation and I'm going to use that as an example for colouring. Okay. First of all, open your first frame and basically get colouring. I will use colours that one on the palette to make this work better. This is probably going to take forever, so I may skip a few frames and just basically, yeah. Colouring is probably the most time consuming part of animation. Yes, it is another Pokemon. <laughs> Oh, what else did you expect it to be? Honestly. And I will probably speed this bit up because it is going to take a very, very long time. So bear with me and we'll get to the chase, I suppose. I won't bother filling in little white gaps and stuff like you would if you were actually doing a proper animation, because that will take ages. So we've saved the first frame, and we're going on to the next one. Now straight away there's a problem. None of well, for some reason it saves it for me. But if you use an old paint, it probably won't save all the colours you used. Or if you use more colours, they won't have them all. But anyway, the easiest way I find to keep colours in check is to paste from the first frame. Basically, keep a bit with all the colours in. Put it beside it, and basically use that as an example, and just take the colours from it with the little dropper tool. You may not like this method, but it works best for me. Of course you can just use those colours, but you'd end up with some pretty gaudy looking characters. This also helps with keeping details right. Say if I couldn't remember a character's markings, instead of just cutting a bit, I'd paste in the full frame and I'd resize it to like that and keep it in the corner and then I'd know where all the markings were supposed to go as a rough guide because you never need to get the markings 100% perfect in each frame unless of course it's some major animation you're working on but for little stuff like this you don't really need that type of perfection but it's nice to get them somewhat right Anyway, once I'm done colouring that frame, simply get rid of this one and save it. And no one would know that I'd done anything like that sort of cheating. Oh. Okay, so I now have all my frames coloured. and I have added a green background. I picked any colour from this palette that I haven't used. Now this is so I can add a background to the image. Now it must, it's important that it's a colour that isn't on the character which is why I didn't leave it white because otherwise the eye 
wouldn't work. Basically, all this bit that's green is going to be see-through and you'll see the background. So, if I'd done the background white, you'd see the background through the eye because I would be using white as the green screen. It's basically what it is. That's why I've used green. But you can use any colour, it doesn't even matter. Yes, now we're going to make a background. So I'll select all of this and make a new file and then paste that. And the reason I do that is so I get it the same size as my other frames. Now here we go. Time to make a background. I'll just use a simple one because time and stuff. No, okay. Let's <laughs> roll with that idea. There. And I'll save as. And it is background one. And I will then proceed to add background to my images. So basically, just paste, paste from. and paste in your first frame and don't deselect it change that to the green and make sure your background transparency is on now sometimes it won't change straight away and it'll just look like that but if your transparency is on and that is set as your background colour just cut it and then try pasting it again and it won't work because it's being an ass so I'm going to just repaste it from the first frame. So this is the reason I don't really like new paint because it glitches a lot and doesn't really do as it's told. Ah, this will work though. <laughs> there, got it to work. Usually it does it straight away, but whatever. Make sure you save as and save it over your first frame. So save it. It's the same thing that you named your frame of the green screen. And yes. And then rinse and repeat with every single frame. So paste from Remember this was sometimes selecting all of this frame first before pasting will fix the green screen problem. I don't know why new paint does this. This technique does work in old paint because I used to use it all the time. That's how I did a lot of my animations. So it's just the buttons on different plays. For example your transparency thing here doesn't look like that. It's two boxes and one of them has a dotted line around it and one of them has a white box around it and you have to click on the one where it's got the dotted line. And it should be more your palette, which is here. <sighs> Did I save that? Yes. Um, this is obviously a very slow process because my computer's lagging because I'm recording, but normally this goes by very quickly. You've got to make sure you click save as as well because I've done it plenty of times where I've accidentally clicked save and saved over the previous frame and that is not fun. Anyway, I'll speed it up by not recording the rest of this and then skip to see the final result. Yeah. Right, so we have now coloured all our frames. But as you can see, in Movie Maker, they're still white. Now if you have saved over your previous files, all you need to do is make sure you've saved your project. Close it and open it again. Then now that you're done, basically go to File, 
Save as, save your movie file, save it to your computer, go through all that, and then you're done. Saving it like that is how you can upload it to YouTube, because if, it's, if it isn't saved as a movie file, it just won't upload, because it's this raw project file here, which is just loads of separate files pulled in, they're not stuck together. Or is the thing you just made there, the published version, will. And then you're basically done, and you can upload and share and enjoy. I uh, hope this tutorial was helpful to at least a few people, and thanks for watching. Bye!